Hey everybody, uh, this is Mr. Math Blog. This lesson we're doing a construction with a straight edge and compass here. Um, uh, congruent triangles by the side angle side method. Okay, so, so this lesson, you guys, is assuming that you guys know how to construct congruent segments and congruent angles. And if you don't know how to do that or you just can't remember how to do those constructions, and then just go to uh, visit the lessons at mrmathblog.com. That's where I'm loading this and let me show you that right there. Here's MrMathBlog.com and go to the geometry link which is right here. Okay, so here's geometry and if you scroll down, this lesson is going to go right underneath uh, right here where it's congruent segments and perpendicular bisectors. I'll have underneath uh, uh, right here congruent angles also. So it'll be down at the bottom of this right here. Alright, let's get started with this here, okay? All right, so on this one here, uh, I have my students copy down this triangle with a straight edge and copy that line with a straight edge. Please don't do that with your free hand. A lot of kids want to just pick up their pencil and draw a sloppy little triangle right there. So try and make it look nice with using a straight edge right here. So we're given uh, triangle ABC over here, and we're going to construct triangle DEF on this line right here so that uh, the DEF will be congruent by ABC using the side angle side method, okay? All right, so what we're going to first do is make point D on this line right here, okay? So we'll put a point D right there, all right? And then we'll construct a segment DE so it's uh, the exact same length as AB, okay? So we're going to go pick up our compass right here and then find the length from A to B. So pointy goes right here, okay? And then uh, I'm going to uh, make sure B goes right where B, um, I'm sorry, the pencil goes right where B is, and then I'm going to strike this. Let's see, I think I did this in, in blue right here. So I'm going to uh, strike this and make, an, make a, an arc right there. Okay, it's supposed to go right through there. And then I just take that and do the same thing over there. This is the length AB, okay? Now, so I'm going to put a, an arc right through here. This is AB, so now this is where E is, okay? So remember, you guys, AB corresponds with the first and second letter DE right there. So you can see I did that right there. There's that arc and I put it right over there. Okay, so that's our point E right there and we're going to put little um, tick marks there to show that they're congruent. Okay, now this is side angle side. So side angle side. So next what we're going to do is copy uh, angle E over here so that angle E is congruent to angle B right there. Okay, so when we copy an angle we put, uh, I'm going to do angle B right there. I'm going to put that right there. And then what I'm going to do is make uh, this arc go through both sides of the angle. Oops, I didn't do that very well. Let's do that. And I'm going to do this in red, I think. So let me put this in red. Okay, and what? how big is this arc right here? Big enough so it covers it. It'll hit both sides of the angle. So I just made it right there. So there's that right there. Okay, I made it smaller on that. And then I'm going to take uh, this this uh, marking, which would have been this one right here. Okay, and then I just, I take this and do that same thing over here at point E. Okay, now this is this arc that I'm going to do is this red guy right here. So I'm going to do the red guy again right here. How big? I tell my kids, big enough. Okay, big enough so it's as big as this guy over here. Okay, so there's that right there. And then uh, the second part of copying an angle is find out uh, pointy goes right here, you guys, where the arc intersected the side of the angle, and then pencily goes down where the, the arc intersected the other side of the angle. So right over here, okay? So I'm going to uh, make an arc, a uh, little mark right there. This is how kids show their work. They do that little, whoops, that didn't work very well. Let me take that back. So they do this little uh, marking right there, and then they transpose that, and they do the exact same thing. They line this up. I did it in green. They line it up over here and then make sure that, so this part is this part right here. And then we just arc it again right here. And then there's our point F right there. Okay, so I did that in green. And so um, uh, F is um, uh, D-E-F. F is somewhere. F isn't there. Sorry, you guys. I said that's F. F is on this ray right here. Okay, so we're doing side angle. So now we have the angles right there. Okay, so now we got to figure out the next side. So now we're going to construct 
e f well f is somewhere on here where is it on here f is going to be the length of b c right there so i'm going to go ahead and get um, uh, this length from b to c right there okay and then we're going to construct that and then so i did that and what color did i do that in in gold all right then i take it over here and do the same thing right there and then arc it so there's our length uh, BC so there's F right there let me move this out of the way okay so now uh, there's uh, uh, F and we connect those points up right there and so now we have side angle side over here we have side angle side so those triangles are congruent by the side angle side method all right you guys take care